very huge data demand, you know, moving uh, AT&T's traffic has grown from grown by 500, 5,000 percent in the last two years, and if you look at where we are on this, this mobile data traffic curve, we, we need to greatly ex- expand capacity over the next few years, uh, and, and how are you going to do that? I mean, you know, there's only so much money you can spend on infrastructure, putting in new cell sites, and those things. We need to have actual real solutions and hands that side in order to be able to improve the performance of the network. Um, you know, and there's, there's a lot of money. I mean, AT&T spent $18 million uh, last year in, in infrastructure. That's a lot of money. That's just one provider. So there is money for this. There is a need for this solution um, to, to improve, uh, improve data. Um, and, you know, one of the fundamental problems is we only have so much frequency. You know, the airwaves are limited, they're band limited, and uh, there's only so, so much you can put into a certain frequency band. And uh, it, it's given by you know, communication theory at the Shannon band. And, uh, and as we, we go to higher uh, modulation, higher order modulation techniques, the required signal to noise ratio of your system goes up, which puts a lot of pressure on your front end. Uh, and your link budget and all those things to try and achieve that. So just to increase your spectral efficiency by 7x requires a 7 dB improvement in signal range ratio of your, of your radio. I mean, this is, this is a, a very challenging system to hit. And, and, and coupled with this requirement of signal noise ratio, you have the fact that in order to, to diversify you know, all these bands to meet all the data and you know, capability, used to be at a dual band GSM, which you know, your high band and low band was about one on. That was reasonable for a single antenna to cover. But now as we're going to one band GSM, WC base, now you're down to 700 megahertz, all the way up to 2.7 gigahertz. That's a two octave range, and it's very, very hard. It, it, it's practically impossible to build a single antenna solution that will cover all of those ranges inside a handset and have good performance at any of the bands. 